Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna be checking out uh, DS Pick that I no, it's a Pick 32 that I bought, and we're gonna do this on Altium. Yeah. So we create a new project. I already did it. I call it Pick 32's Sistemas and Bebidos, which is a class that I'm taking, and I wanna uh, <laughs> since I bought the integrated circuit as a surface mount component I wanna have a circuit board to mount it so I created the project I added a sheet which is this one you add it as a here new project a schematic here it is you save it it's in it's gonna take a while because my computer is really slow you save it as whatever you desire you just press save and then you can now it changes everything and there we go to add this component you need to install the library where is it where is it um here it is pick 32 microcontrollers and i have the pick 32 mx oh 40 was it 4220 there we go and you choose be careful with which one you choose because that's gonna mess up and change all your board so I choose which one I choose I, I think I choose this one and hopefully when I print it it's gonna it's gonna work so I found the capacitor we're gonna choose a surface mount capacitor that has that Altium has already in his libraries with miscellaneous devices a type cap and there we go we're looking for a surface mount component so here are two I choose this one because well why not and here it is so I grab another one I zoom in by clicking on the roller I don't know what, how you call it where you, wherever you are and there we go we move everything so we gotta look for the oscillator which is oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 here in the damn data sheet it says that on oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 you need a crystal and a capacitor but I don't think it says no it doesn't say at all what type of what value of capacitor we need so we gotta look at somewhere else and I found this god damn it I found oh oh shit yep I found this other data sheet which is on microchip and it's on well I found it it's on documentation you can follow the link here and it says C2 as a 32 picofarads capacitor and the scope was proved with a 10 picofarads and 32 picofarads so I normally use 20, 22 picofarads because well that's that's the standard of microchip I guess maybe maybe not so we're gonna choose that there we go let's go back to the uh, Altium and the crystal I have some small crystals where's the value where's the fucking value oh well anyways doesn't matter well it, it does but not right now okay so we follow the circuit we press P and it opens the menu and we want to add a wire we press W so we go here oscillator and there we go and this other one we go here and there we go and we press escape one thing to move everything in together you have to press control if you don't press control it's just gonna drag the component so you gotta press control if you wanna drag it with all the wires okay press wire 
place wire. There we go. And damn it. We copy and paste it uh, over here. Place wire. There we go. And well, this is your typical microcontroller, pick microcontroller um, connections. We have our ground. And there we go. We need our ground reference. I mean, our. There, there we go. BDD and BSS, which is our ground reference and our voltage reference, not respectively. And we need our main clear to be powered up. So I'm just going to add this. In later episodes, we're going to make sure this is done properly. Right now, we're just going to learn how to make a board. Okay. Beautiful. Well, it's something. Yeah, I changed it on the settings a while ago. And by a while ago, I mean several years. And yeah, you can change it if you desire. And of course, you need a resistor here, and yeah, you know your ra ground reference and everything. But I'm just gonna put it here to test the Altium, Altium stuff. I don't know what the fuck is this. Well, this is the first time I use a PIC32 microcontroller, so I don't know how to make sure this doesn't blow up. Yeah, my university, and we save. And we create a new, well, say project. Add new to project PCB. It's adding the PCB. Okay. Yeah, it's taking a while. My computer's really slow. Okay. Now we need to name every single component. So here we need this and this. You. If you notice, here is a question mark on every component. We just need to go to um, Tools, Annotate Schematics. You can annotate the schematics one by one. What the f... No, yeah, you can annotate them one by one or individually. But I prefer to do it automatically. So we press Annotate Schematics quietly. Yes, I do want to annotate all of them. And there we go. You have your Y1, your U1, which is your microcontroller, and the capacitors. Let's change already the the value of the capacitors. It's 22 picofarads and 22 picofarads. There we go. Oh, by moving to move around, you just press the right click. To zoom in and out, and zoom in and out, you just press the ball on your mouse and go up and go down. And to move around up and down, it's the roller. And to select a component, it's just a click. Damn it! There we go. So let's go. Save and go to our PCB. Uh, this is gonna be a fucking mess. Okay. I don't remember what. Where was it? I think it was F. It was 3. I had to press 3. No, it's 3D. Let's go back to 2D. It was F3. Oh, here it is. You just press 1. And it's it's right over here. View board planning. Press one, and you go to 
Move board or edit board shape. We press edit board shape. Now we can make it a lot smaller. I don't think we're going to be using a lot. Maybe, I don't know. Let's go back to our board. We press 2 to go back to your normal view. And let's put the component components. God damn it, it's here. This update the schematics, import changes. Warning errors occurring da, 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 validate changes. Okay. Execute changes. Close and there we go. There we go. Here's our pick microcontroller. Here are the God where how can I change the grid? Well, here it is. This is our pick microcontroller. You can place it wherever you desire. Make sure everything is all stick together. Here is your oscillator. Here is your microcontroller. Here is our capacitor which we are going to be flipping. God, I hate when it does this. It's it's too much for my computer. Wow, it's I hate this grid. I'm going to change it later on. And there we go. Here's an error. This is our this are I guess errors that Altium says, "Hey, you're doing this wrong." But hey, we're just trying to make this okay we put him we put this by its side to put them all together and there we go we still have our annotation and we have our microcontroller and that's pretty much it we can do the auto routing And that's how you do it. Let's try with this one. Let's see if we can manage to pull them all the way there. Oh, we didn't try the differential pair. Let's try this again. No differential pairs in design. Well, we gotta put them here in the schematic. Damn it. There, finally found it. PCB. This is this is your project. You press PCB, nets, and we go to differential pair pairs editor we add one there we go here's our differential pair we put it as a what is it oh we change it we name it as a oscillator I bet that's a proper way to do it, but I don't know how to do it, and I tried. Uh, shit. Uh, uh, fuck. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Uh, well, I'll figure it out, and eventually I'm gonna show you how to do it. Or 
God's sake. Can't believe this, it's that, that hard. Maybe it's something I'm not doing. It's definitely that interactive routing. God. Fuck. Nope. 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 It's not gonna. It's not gonna work today. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. I'm just gonna put the. That's our little board. We're I'm gonna I'm gonna do it right next time. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right next time, so that it this time it works. And I'm gonna make sure to do everything to make to know what I'm doing next time. Okay, I'll leave it there. See you later.